How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Sanson, and we are back with part four, I believe, of the Red Dead Redemption series. Now, I already had a little mishap, so I've already poured my drink. But special, even more special, I have Mountain Dew. I love Mountain Dew. It's been so long since I've had it. But that's not going to stop me from doing the norm in this channel. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? That'd well, be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Dowson oh. rod. Y'all ain't never seen a dowson rod before, mister? Never. No! I hate this controller. Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah! No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They <laughs> sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper tie for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water. Build us a proper wellspring. All right. Let's see what Maybe I Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> see what I can do. Why is there not a hitching post there?
Those fellas had it coming to them. I ain't gonna be no target practice. Good Lord! Whoa. That was close. That was a close. Whoa. This ain't the Marshall Station. Where the hell am I? force help you? Oh, they can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. Hello? Hello? Is Armadillo 731? What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshall! Marshall! <coughs> Marshall! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now? That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. Then it'd be my pleasure. I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty purse the last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the ballers. Come on. Everybody dismount. Follow me. Let's go! Whoa. Stay alert, boys! Be ready. 
ready, boys. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Take the left fork. I'm going this way. Marston, you can tag along with me or join the deputies. Oh my good God! Come on then, Marston. Just make sure you don't slow me down. across the way. Eyes up! Sniper! Let's clear out Pike's basin once and for all! Follow me! Come on! Give them hell! Stealthy as you can, boys. Let's get as close to those bastards as we can. Get 
Marshal, we're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. Uh, All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You can say that again. But well, one other thing, Marston, Mr. Johnson, sir, it's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. <laughs> oh, I love this.
Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. 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 Come Hi, on, man. Sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? Head for armadillo, friend. What is your name, friend? John Morrison. Good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me! How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Bollard Twin Walton's gang! I know who you are! My God! Then come back and finish me off! Armadillo. We made it safe, you'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. <coughs> uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... 
Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Crazy thing. Nothing for crossbows. Just because. Guess we'll put a save here. I suppose with that, ladies and gentlemen, a short episode, yes. But an episode, no, no, us. We got some stuff done. And I suppose that next time we continue this, we'll go see how Mr. West Dickens is, and they can talk with the marshal a little more. I don't know. This seems like the only things that we have to do, so until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Saint Sin. I want to thank you for spending your time with mine, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Red Dead Redemption.